Hey and welcome to Retro Tech. Today I wanted to do a product demonstration on convergence strips. This is a normal convergence strip that came straight out of this television. It's a just magnet on a piece of plastic with some nice two-sided tape. This is the original one, but let's say you don't have enough in your TV and you still got some color convergence, you can either try to take these old ones out and move them around and maybe you'll get a result, or sometimes the magnets can go bad on them and it might be time to replace them. I got this set off of eBay and uh, they appear to be pretty high quality made but probably homemade. It's just a piece of plastic uh, with a magnet and some tape and then some two-sided tape on the other side so you can get it set and uh, stick it on the back of your CRT tube. And this one came uh, again on eBay, it was a set of 10 and let's just see how it works. You see up here we've got some pretty bad color convergence where our colors are separated and I want to try to clear that up with the convergence strips. Uh, the convergence strips are going to be great at clearing those colors in this corner. Uh, you got to know that when you're working with convergence though it can take more than just these strips and we'll go through that uh, some more. I've got a small round magnet that um, if you move it actually on this one along around the yoke it'll, it'll help with um, the wonkiness on the corners because there's not really any kind of menu to adjust a lot of the things that you can adjust in higher end monitors on a CRT just standard television. So to get this corner cleared up again we're going to try to move in these convergence strips, these new ones, we'll see how they work to get this corner cleared and then I'll show you some other tricks and tips on working with convergence. Let's look at the safety equipment first before we get back into the monitor because this is a test that you're not going to be able to do with a discharged monitor. You have to have your monitor running so you can see the results on the screen as you move it around. Uh, unfortunately, you have to use a lot of these magnets to get your, uh, all your geometry fixed on the corners and, the, and things like that and around the edges on these older televisions. Uh, what I've got here is a high voltage Marigold industrial glove. What I do is I wear this glove and then I actually put a second layer over top of that glove to give me double protection. This is a high quality leather glove on the outside. And now you've got dual protection for when you're working back behind in the CRT while it's turned on. Again, just take your time when you're doing this. Make sure you've got the right personal protective equipment. Don't try to save money on gloves. It's about your only thing that you can use to protect yourself. Mine costs about $80. Taking a look back here, taking a look back here at the back of this CRT, you can see these convergence strips and there's some LED in here. I've already tried to use some of the newer ones a little bit just to play around and um, there are the older ones. Those will affect your corner convergence. So the, co uh, the corner, for instance, if you want to fix your corner up here, you're going to play with these strips or add strips in this area. So today we're looking at this corner because it's the worst. So we're going to be moving around these strips and maybe even add in another strip in there to make sure that that corner convergence is set. Some other things that are going to help convergence on this particular monitor and other ones are these convergence rings. Now these again can be tricky. Uh, there is no just straight convergence adjuster on this television so you actually have to use these rings. Okay, I'm zoomed in in my corner here and you can see just the different, how the white and red are separated, the blues and reds are separated. And as again I said, I'm going to put this in uh, with the tape side going to the monitor or to the back of the CRT tube. And I'll just move it around back there until these things just kind of line up and look nice and even again. Whoa. So as you can see here, I move this around, it makes a big difference. Right there, it's not even that big of a dif difficult move. I got it set in there. I want to look at basically the top three cubes that are in white and then the top one in red. And I want to try to get them all to line up. So I hope you can see there how that's cleared it up as far as the convergence is concerned. We still have a geometry issue in that corner and that will be fixed 
with more magnets, not conversion strips, but little round magnets. Let me give you a quick example though on what I'm going to do with this little magnet. Okay, this is a quick screen change up, but I want you to see on my middle finger, I've got a piece of two-sided 3M tape, and then on the middle of it is just a small, tiny magnet. Now, this one was on the back of the CRT. It just wasn't in the right position. Let me show you how this will actually affect the uh, corner, not just convergence, but the actual geometry on this particular television. Now on the back of the tube, I want you to take a note and see, do you see this? This, I'm, now I'm not touching it, okay? Do you see this? This is where the magnet was. It was actually on the yoke assembly. And I noticed that it was just, it had just moved a little bit. And as I wiggled it around, it actually got better. So I'm going to put my gloves back on before I get too close to it. But I'm going to reseat this along this yoke, just the gray part on here. And I'm going to move it around on the front, and you'll be able to see the, cut, the convergence as well as the geometry change. I've got my gloves back on, and now I'm going to just go back here, and I'm going to move around this magnet so you can see basically what's going on when I'm moving around. So right now I've got it in its original position. You see how that moves that whole thing? And again, this is not on the back of the tube. This is actually along, along the yoke. So I will just sit there and I'm gonna try to get this as nice and square up there in the corner as I can and I'm gonna set it down. You can see how on these older televisions you have to use magnets because they don't have any kind of a menu or even potentiometers to adjust certain things at all. I hope you can see how it's kind of gotten it cleared up. Let's go look at the back real quick. Back here around the back and you can see how I've reset that magnet. It's pretty close to the original spot, but it did have to be moved a little bit. I'm going to do more calibration adjustments and show that in a future video on this TV. But for today, we're just going to concentrate on those convergence strips and using that small magnet to fix one corner at a time. So let's recap a little bit. To fix the wonkiness in the colors, you can sit here for a long time and work on it, which I will work some more on it, but you're going to want to use some kind of corner convergence strip. Uh, we saw how we put those in, but those just go in behind the yoke and are worked around back there. And then I also showed you how to use the small magnets Sometimes those can be set on the back of the CRT. On this one, it had to be set on the yoke. Uh, that's how you get a lot of the corner convergence fixed. Something to realize, this is a 20-year-old tube television, so you're probably not going to get it perfect. But you can get it back to almost perfect and definitely better than it was, uh, definitely better was when I got it. And, uh, so if you happen to have a TV that needs more convergence strips or you think your convergence strips really aren't working anymore, they could have, the magnet could have gone uh, and lost a little bit of magnetism over the years maybe, or just not as effective, you can either switch them with these uh, or try to reset the ones you've got. But it's a small investment and I think it's kind of worth it to change it out for some new ones instead of always reusing the old ones. But you can definitely reuse these old ones and try to see if they'll help. Uh, both are a good option. So if you have any questions about the convergence strips, uh, I do have some other videos about convergence on PVMs available. Please refer to those or leave me a question in the comments 
and I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks again for watching Retro Tech.